This is Sean. Welcome back to the American Soccer Coach. Now, this video is going to be about the importance of practice game ratios. And for me, I know that some uh, some clubs they'll practice twice a week. Some clubs it'll be up to three or four practices a week, and then you got usually one to two games on the weekend. Uh, for me, I really like a ratio, and it's usually not possible, unfortunately, of three practices for every game. And the reason for that is one, you learn more in training than you do in the game. Okay, so whatever you have, whatever you see in the game, whether it goes right or goes wrong, um, usually that will give you an idea of what you need to work on for that week's practice. And you know, partially that, partially what you're building in terms of your playing philosophy, partly who you're playing next. So there's many things to take into account. But in general, uh, you are learning these things at practice and not in the game. In games, you're just trying to implement it. Now, on top of that, and I've been kind of outspoken about this before, but I really don't like a lot of tournaments. And the reason I don't like a lot of tournaments is if you're playing four, maybe even five games in two days, um, one, by the time you hit that fourth or fifth game, you know the chance of an injury or, I mean, significant fatigue, but the chance of an injury being picked up is, is much higher because of how much running has been happening, depending on the temperature, it could be really hot outside. Um, yeah, so the chance of like a quad or a hamstring going is a lot higher in that fourth or fifth game than it is, you know, if you play one or two games on the weekend. Uh, on top of that, um, after afterwards, um, you need recovery time. And a lot of coaches or a lot of clubs just assume that you can play four or five games in two days and then magically practice the next day and go full speed, do fitness drills or anything like that. And again, what's end up, what ends up happening is you're putting the player's health at risk. You're putting um, in the, the the chance of an injury happening there is significantly higher, and in U.S. youth soccer, in U.S. youth soccer, this is kind of difficult because the, the players love tournaments, the parents love tournaments, but you also have to see that you know your your best interest as a coach should be in the health of your players, the well-being of your players, right? So you don't want to put them in situations where they're going to be risking getting injured. They their muscles need to be recovered. And, and and that way, if they're fully recovered, the chance of an injury is going to be significantly lower. Um, so I think that reducing tournaments is a, is a good way to prevent injuries. And then also, hey, I, I think that in general, a better way of improving it is by practicing more and playing less games, to be honest. And that is actually one of the things I like about the academy is the development academy is a lot of times you're training four days a week and um, you in the fact that you have four days, you can work on so many different things over the week. Okay, so you could dedicate a comp you can you can completely maybe you want to have one lighter day out of your four days. Dedicate one day to finishing, and that way maybe you're not running or you're not straining the muscles as much if you're doing one day in finishing. But with the four days and then just having one game on the weekend, um, you can kind of have a cycle of when you want to work on fitness, when you want to work on stamina, and when you want to just relax a little bit more and make sure that they're going to be ready. For example, if you train Friday or Saturday, you're not going to have an intense practice before the game on uh, Saturday. So a day or two before the game, you're going to take it easy. You're not going to be working really hard. Um, but for a lot of teams, if you're playing in tournaments or if you have two or three games on the weekend, um, you really have to be careful with what you're doing in practices because if you overwork them and then they're tired going into the game, one injury uh the chance of an injury is higher two maybe they're running at 80 percent now and not 100 percent, and you don't want that to happen either okay so i think that being able to try your best i think that trying your best to have a good practice to game ratio is significantly important one to get the best out your players because no one's going to be at their best playing at 70 or 80 percent they're fatigued going into the game two and most importantly is the injury prevention making sure that no one's tearing an ACL, no one's uh, cramping up, no one, no one's getting injured. Because again, these are things that are preventable with good scheduling and, and keeping everybody on board with why you're doing it. Okay, So, so I think that's really important. And I, again, I think that that's something that's not talked about. I think that there's many reasons. Tournaments generate uh, income. So clubs want teams to do tournaments. Uh, parents want to do tourna tournaments. The players want to do tournaments, understandably. Uh, but I, all I'm saying is let's make sure that we're seeing both sides of this before we make the decisions. Thank you guys for tuning in.